The high mountain passes of Colorado are an incredible place to overland and an even better place to push vehicles that have no business being there to their breaking point. Oversized, extra long, on narrow mountain trails, the real adventure is about to begin. Welcome to the island of misfit toys. Stop number one on our way up to Engineer Pass is this epic old mining area uh, with this river going through and this brick dam that is obviously broken. I cannot believe that back in the turn of the century using nothing but donkeys and hand tools, they were actually able to build a functional dam here on this raging white rapid river. Colorado is absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Colorado and you have an overland rig, take the time, do these passes. Who knows how long they're gonna be open and it's completely worth it. Take my word for it. All right, rig number one for our Island of Misfit Toys trip in Colorado is Trevor in his Nissan Titan pulling his lifestyle camper. And last time we did this on Imogene Pass, yep. you incurred a little bit of damage. Yeah, so that was with the, the recon and the jockey wheel got hung up on a, the mount for it, got hung up on a rock, slid across a frame into the body. So I learned my lesson on the Fusion. I went ahead and pulled the uh, jockey wheel off and the front mud flaps off. So should be no issues. And I have rock rails now. Mm, even better. Mm. But yeah, still turning radius, you know, it's kind of long. And then the, yeah, uh, it's, it's a question mark, but I guess we'll see. No problemo. Mm. It's very confident for a guy who's going to be, oh, Help me. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> From this point forward, it's going to be nothing but rugged terrain all the up to Engineer Pass. So says the sign, and I truly believe that. I've done this before, and it is not a joking matter. I can honestly say that I've never seen a sprinter van on any of these trails. I have spent weeks of my life traversing these high, big mountain passes in Colorado on multiple trips over multiple years. And never once have I seen a sprinter van actually oh, at elevation cool. on these passes. <laughs> With that, there's a lot of question marks. Does a sprinter van have enough power to get up to those elevations? My third gen Tacoma has problems. I have to go into four low at these high altitudes because there's not a lot of air and there's just not a lot of power in engines when they get to these elevations. Will the four wheel drive system be able to accomplish its task of getting this big vehicle over the obstacles? A lot of question marks. The drone didn't want to make it to the top because altitude. However, the truck, truck Ben's truck made it up no problem at all. A uh, mildly modified Tacoma but yeah, made it up, no problem at all. What'd you think, Ben? Dude, it's fun. This is great. Yeah? Gorgeous. It's a legit pass, isn't it? Oh, this is sweet. Yeah, any problems? We don't have these in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> and the truck track looks really good too. Thanks. All right. Sweet. We are gonna have a lot of time spent here. We're gonna do a lot of video. We're gonna get a lot of pictures because this is absolutely a scenic pass. Engineer Pass is one of my top favorites. about an hour of bullshitting, getting pictures and video. We had a real sit down, heart to heart conversation about, is this really a good idea? Is it a good idea to continue with all the traffic and all of the possibilities of problems? Is it a good idea for us to continue on this journey? And we had an overwhelming yes from the entire group. We are going to push forward. An issue that we're having and we're going to see this entire trip is going to be passing other vehicles on the trail. These trails are very narrow and our vehicles are very wide, plus size even. Now passing vehicles, there's an etiquette. Uphill travel obviously always has the right of way. We typically will violate that rule because we are so big. People typically just get out of our way so that we can pass the safest way possible. You broke your tail light, totally popped out. No way. Yeah. Dude, that's some legit trail damage right there. The tail light popped out. Man, I think your bumper just twisted in the frame and it just freaking grabbed it and just popped it out. 
Uh, Damn. The mount there. Did it break it? Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Oh, yeah, you can see where your bumper impacted the bottom of it. Ugh. Need some duct tape? Look at that. Good as new. Good as new. <laughs> oh, yeah, it hit there. Yeah, you can see it just freaking... That's weird, dude. Right there. Little duct tape. Good to go. Yeah. Descending down Engineer Pass into Animus Forks is no small feat. A lot of really narrow roads, a lot of tight switchbacks, and a lot of cross traffic. A recipe for disaster if you're not paying attention. And paying attention isn't the easiest thing when you have scenic views all around you for miles and miles and miles. These Colorado passes are absolutely gorgeous. Every way you look, there's no bad view. All right, bro, so Engineer Pass was the hardest pass we're doing today. How'd the trailer do? Not a single problem. Good, good. Yeah, uh, so it was a little bouncy, and I realized when we slept last night, I had upped one side, so it was a little bit more pressure uh -huh. in one, so I dropped that down. Now it should be smooth as hell. Mm, I'm hearing first world problems right now. Yeah, mm, first my, world problems. My bed was a little off canter. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, in my uh. queen mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we made it to Animus Forks, yep. and this trip is just an absolute blast. We saw a rock truck. There was like a tracked rock truck crawling down behind us. It was actually going to upset because we were stopping to take video, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's oh, been a great saw trip. Fox. Oh, saw a fox. And guess what the fox said? Bang, 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 bang. If I cut that out, I'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> the valley you pass through, climbing out of Animus Forks towards California Pass, is absolutely breathtaking. The emerald green hillsides, this is exactly what I envision Ireland to look like. We made it up over California Pass. There was like 18 bikes up there, so we couldn't stop, and it's a little off canter, and these rigs really aren't made for that. So we did not stop at California Pass. However, we're down here at Emerald Lake, we took the little bypass offshoot to go to Emerald Lake, and it has been like the hardest part of the trail. So going back up might end up being a winch situation, but uh, my God, can you believe how gorgeous Emerald Lake is? It's, you know, like of all the lakes that are called Emerald Lake, this one is probably the truest to its form. Trev's throwing rocks at me and he's not gonna hit me because he throws like a girl. No offense to all you girls out there, you probably throw it way better than him. Ow, he actually hit me that time. Beginner's luck. <laughs> hey Adam, how was okay. how was got, that? Got a little dicey there for a second. All right, so we haven't talked to you the whole day. So Hurricane Pass, what'd you think about that? That was more scenic, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. not a super challenge deal. Like, pretty Beautiful good. spot though. Okay. Beautiful spot. And then uh, California Pass wasn't bad. No. You know, it was just a lot of nice switchbacks. You know, it's just a little rugged, but not terrible. No. And then coming down this, what'd you think? <laughs> that was a different story. <laughs> that was fun though. <laughs> Trev's got pictures of Adam apparently on two wheels in a Sprinter van, but tell you what, this thing has impressed the absolute crap out of me. It is just literally, it's, there's no stop in this thing. It's legit. That also mentioned the Super Ute is absolutely destroying this trail. Two passes down, two passes to go. Absolutely, uh, it's a big truck, but it loves this kind of stuff. It just absolutely eats it up. My biggest concern leaving Emerald Lake, climbing back to the main trail, is going to be Adam's Otzi van. And the real reason is because there's a question mark of if he has enough power and traction to get up there on his own power. But the real concern is if he doesn't, there's no front recovery point on the Sprinter van. We're gonna have to winch from the rear, which means he has to turn around on the trail somehow and make an attempt backwards to get to a point where I can hook him up from the rear and pull him up from the rear. It's quite the plan and hopefully we don't have to utilize it. Get off, get off. 
There. So if you get a little momentum, you might get it. Well, that was really exciting. Trev really got hung up on that. I tried to I encourage him to uh, take a pull early on, but he wanted to give it like three or four tries. Just didn't work out. His uh, trailer was really heavy and just all of the ruts, it was either his losing traction in the front where his driving rig was going through, the Titan wasn't able to get it, or it was his trailer kind of getting hung up on stuff. So, but hey, Super U saved my little brother. That's all that matters. Had to save my little brother from sure imminent death. Almost guaranteed, right? I would have just gone the other way. That's not true. There is no other way. This is it. <laughs> the, no, no, there's yeah. no other way. Yeah, like Durango. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that was. That was impressive. <laughs> a huge shout out to Ben from Trucked. His truck is actually parked right here. And I gave him a ride up here so we can video this. We knew it was gonna be a difficult section. And now he is a volunteer to walk, run, jog, back down to his truck. So kudos to Ben from Trucked to being willing to take the long haul back down to get his truck. And I was coming up and let's hope it's fun, but not, not crazy. Yeah, we'll go fun but not crazy. We made it to the top of Hurricane Pass and everyone made it up safe and sound from Emerald Lake. That was a legit climb. This, this trip has just been an absolute 100% of a blast. I can't tell you how impressed I am with the Otzi Gear Moto X. That thing is badass. Epic views, good times. I'm super impressed with all these rigs. Like this has just been a freaking blast. All right guys, the Island of Misfit Toys made it to the top of the fourth pass of the day, Corkscrew Pass. We started at like 9.30, we're ended up at almost six o'clock. We're losing daylight quick, but we're at the top of the pass. We're not down yet, but we are at the top of the pass and we have made it. So we have the Otzi Gear Sprinter Van. It, it rocked, like no joke rocked. Uh, Trev's uh, Nissan, uh, Titan being pulling up the lifestyle campers. He did okay. Minus one, one savior saved him. We have Sean with Guild and he made everything look awesome because he was pedal to the metal the whole time. No, there was, there was no slowing down for Sean. And then Ben with Trucked obviously destroyed it because he's got a pretty damn light build and it just walked up everything. So except the little tail light damage, we won't talk about that. All right, buddy, what do you think? Awesome trip. We did awesome. I earned my trophy for both front tires off the ground at the same time. <laughs> awesome trip, uh, but I'm with Ben. I'm ready for some uh, some dinner and some sleep, but this was incredible. All right, bro, what'd you think? So honestly, the trailer did really well. Um, when I was looking for a trailer, this was the trail that I benchmark a trailer. So besides that one little hang up, I think it did fantastic, uh, zero damage. And yeah, the truck actually did really well. And the truck's new name is Kronos, the Titan. <laughs> I'm gonna name his new truck, help me. 
<laughs> Help me! <laughs> you know what's funny? I have bailed you more times I, than I can ever remember. Let's go back in the video archive and see if that's true. Oh, you know and what? And the panel the, says no. Yes, the only time that you had to bail me out when it was like, oh, I don't think I can make it, bro. You need to go first. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that adventure because these rigs rocked it. The Super Ute absolutely demolished this section of these four passes we did, kind of a segment of the Alpine Loop, and this area is awesome. Uh, be sure to check out the Super Ute build video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.